Yeah, look at that. Not a cloud in the sky. Looks like a painting, huh? Try to find some artifacts. Well, I know we're gonna find some artifacts. It's almost stayed till I do. Later. All right, this is just a continuation of my last video. Remember I was digging, well, it'll be the video previously. I made just made my last video down there. On the way up here, I found a couple nice artifacts and got up here to where I wanted to come and the first screen in here along this log. Let me see if I see it. Yeah, I see it. You see the point here? I see a real nice flake too, look at this. That's some kind of real high quality material, but there's a pretty decent looking point here. It's right here. It ain't bad, it's got a little tip neck. But that's expected on every now and then. Some kind of archaic point. It ain't bad though. Another fawn. Later. This kind of looks like Upper Mercer after it's dried out. But here, it's got an extra notch in it there. It's some kind of archaic point. That's purposeful. I looked at it under magnification. It's chipped. It's like a triple notch. It's got a little impact there, but still mostly there it's kind of a blue black glossy material some kind of archaic deal but that ain't bad you know finding points good ones are going to show up and good ones do later in this video thanks for watching folks thought i'd show you that get another artifact here right here it is another pitted stone see how it's all roughed up there a little handheld one that's actually kind of nice Play that just got this piece of Indian pottery in my last screen down there, and that's tempered with something real odd. I don't know if that's shelled or what. I'm going to have to look at that. It looks like flint again, but it almost looks like crushed up limestone. It's just the fragments are all small here, but that is pretty cool. I don't know. I doubt it's shell. It's something else. I might pop a piece of that out and look at it under magnification. We'll see later. I haven't got this sifted all down yet, but I just see an absolute heartbreaker. And look at some of this material. Look at this stuff. That's like, oh, jeez. That's like an, it's flint ridge. You can see the crystals in it. Wait till you see this point. It would have been huge. It's all stained up. Do you see it? Man, this is a heartbreaker right here base is snapped oh, look you can see the shoulders it would have probably had a big rounded base I'd say that's an Adena it's Flint Ridge see the crystal like it's really stained from laying in here oh you know that would have been a four and a fourth inch point it looks like would have had a big rounded base oh, I'd like to see that but maybe there's one laying here I'd say there is later well, this point here that I found broke, this is probably what it about would have looked like. Would have had a little rounded base on it. It's Flint Ridge, and I'll tell you why it's broke. There's crystals right there. You can see the big crystal right there. It's Flint Ridge, it's just heavily stained. I'd say by the chipping on it, it's got that kind of tabular cross section. I'd say it's an Adena. This would have just come down like I showed there, kind of a rounded base. But that would have been a big point. You see the big crystal in it right there too. That's a shame, that would have been big. Later. I believe this, this stinks, this is broke. You see it? Right there's a groove dax. Just a section out of it, that would have been a killer how steamed up it is right there's the groove that would have been a big beautiful probably a three-quarter groove this is the back this is going up towards the bit ah oh, stinks on that don't it real nice blue stain it's 
that black staining that would have been superb real 100 percent polish on all of this oh lay that you know this is a stinking shame isn't it that's the groove of the axe it's made a it's really stained up from laying in that river muck after it fell out of the bank but right there you can see it's like a blue stone this is the back of it it would have come back like this but it's a slant groove i'd say it's three quarter groove and this would have been going up towards the sharpened bit that is a stinking shame huh right there you can kind of ah uh, what a heartbreaker and that's not plow damage that's ancient use damage fell out of the bank they've discarded it that would have been you know a year maker anyway later i'm gonna have to go i don't know if you can see the lightning flashes back that way it's coming this way i got two miles to row i can go through two miles pretty quick in this i'm a fast paddler but i'm gonna have to go so i don't get struck by lightning but i've made one video here already that'll be on before this then after found more points the grooved axe another nutting stone two stone tools here and all of that stuff i got i found this this day there's another point in there man it's a shame on that grooved axe huh well i gotta go i'll add clips to this one later see what i mean man stinks i gotta go i ought to found four or five more artifacts here in a couple hours but i will come back and finish this and do so i might even make a sec second video out of this you know it's going to be awesome here Let well i told you the rain was coming i just made it to my truck and had to get gas Woo! glad i didn't get stuck out in the river on this you can hardly even see look at that man folks but i did good just gotta look all the time man see that flash holy crap later well, this is one heck of a rainstorm. It hasn't let up and I've been driving for 10 minutes. Look at that sky. Man, I just got out of there. Hope you enjoyed. Heading down in here again. I went and surface hunted the police this morning, just found flakes. I could have sifted and stuff, but I have a better shot. I go to where you know i'm finding stuff in my sifter and i'm finding stuff up here it's kind of windy today but it's nice i'm pulling in here right here's where i found that pentagonal probably you see that bank looks familiar i'm gonna look around i ain't even up to the good spot yet see what we can get in here i hate to pass by spots where i know there's artifacts and there's definitely artifacts here right there's a flake right in the water right here when i pull up I'll have to surface hunt this a little bit and I'm gonna get to sifting. Get back, lay down. Screens look good. This is only like the third screen. I already got an artifact. Right there's a little flake. But right here, look at this. That's a piece of faceted hematite that's completely exhausted. It's just used completely up. That's pretty cool. Later. Yesterday when I, well, it wasn't yesterday. It was the video before my antique store video yesterday. And if you haven't seen that, I'm doing a giveaway for some really awesome fossils that I bought there and a bottle. Go back, comment on it, and you'll have an entry. But remember when I said stuff falls out of this bank and I pointed right to this spot and said there's probably an arrowhead laying right there? Well, I'm sifting in here. I moved out some of the stuff. You can see all the cracked up burn up rock that's come out of that bank oh fakes i got a flint ridge point let me see if i can't get this in the sun better so you can see it all right these i got a riverton fakes i did it this is just makes my day it's a real beautiful flint ridge you see it now oh fakes look at this one for my frame look paint tip oh it's perfect this is a late archaic point called a riverton it's a true bow and arrow projectile oh man let me see if i can get in the sun here oh folks look at this look at the translucency on this smoking stein 
I love these little points. Look at the color on that. And the bases are just super polished and the notches. That is just, folks. That makes my week. Look at that darker bottom going into a white. Oh, man, folks. Man, oh, man. I have done it already. I've been here 15, 20 minutes. Later. And you saw this point at the beginning. That's jewel grade flint ridge. It's just amazing. That's an amazing little true bow and arrow projectile point. And here's a lot more of them. Um, you can see that last one I broke had edge work. I found one this week and it was snapped about right there where it was half that the base was gone. But there, and here's, here I'll put this one in here. Put it right down here. Here I found a, I found this one this year and it's gl it glows. It's the glowing bird point. That's a beauty. Look at the material on these things. Pink flint ridge right there. Almost all of them are flint ridge or some kind of, you know, heat treated material. See, even these ones, heat treated material. There's more flint ridge. There's a busted one. I just put it in there because it's real pink flint ridge. Here's another pink flint ridge one that's serrated. These are killers. Look how small some of them are. That one would fit on a penny there with room to spare. Wee little tiny ones. Look at the material though. I found a lot of these on my channel on video. Look at this one. A little like drill tip on it. Pink flint ridge. They're just so much, so tiny. But this one today really, man folks, I did it. Material is just beautiful. It looks like a piece of candy. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Later. Yeah, that log probably looks familiar. I found several black points in here. I'm working right over in that way. Just, the, you know, the layer's a foot thick. At thickest, laying right on the base clay. I'm just sifting the stuff on the base clay. And I got another nice point, folks. And this will be the last one in this video. I'll kind of do a wrap up. I've got some real nice flakes. Two nice points already. Been here probably two hours. A lot of it was even rowing. This is a long row. But you can see here, I show you this screen. There's real old aqua glass i'm getting lots of shards of stuff look at this brick here i'm gonna take it because it says alamo on it that's pretty cool i'll pry that up off the base cliff but man this looks pretty good you see it yeah i'm thinking it might be broke now thought it was whole but we'll call it quits on this there's a piece off an old but right here yep it's broke and man, that's kind of side notch looking. Real heavily ground base, that's a shame. But another find, nonetheless, that would have been a nice point. That's an old one. Huh, real thin. Huh. Well, I got the nice bird point. Well, I guess I'll just show all this stuff at the house. I'm gonna keep digging. Um, let me see here. Got stuff in my pocket see just look at some of this stuff look at some of this material look at this stuff look at that wow I might find and if anybody knows I put a few of these up here I don't remember ever seeing these as a kid it's some kind of like snail or something I wonder if these are an invasive species anybody knows what them are called or knows about them put it down in the description or the comments later yeah, I thought this one was whole when it was laying in the screen, but that's an old point. It's a side notch. Kind of looks, there's just a lot of it gone. It could be a real nice Brereton. Look at this basal thinning channel coming up through. Look at them big flakes coming in to, into it. Real nicely made. Um, real heavily polished base just I mean like a big sandy it's something in that time period I would guess that's a shame that's a shame later you know I got another find we'll do one more on this I mean I've been finding a bunch of these I'd like to know where they're at when other people looking on the river 
Some people don't ever find one. Look at this. Man, that's a nice other handheld one. You can see a billet would fit right on that to, to prime it up. You know, hitting a piece of flint chews it up. This would get it right back to kind of rounded. I think that's a pretty good theory. Look at them little pits. Pitted stone, cup stone, nutting stone, whatever you want to call it. Another one, folks. How many does that make this year? All right, play that. Okay, right here it is. I'm going to pry this up and see what this is. I'm going to have to get it with my shovel. Hold on. I'll try to do it live here. It's really down in there. I'm not sure if it is. Let me feel the edge for the edge. Oh, look at that. Man, that's the deepest nutting stone hole I think I've seen. I don't even know if I'll be able to get this out of here. Look at this. That thing's two inches deep. Look at that. Man, there's a bunch of artifacts on this this site. I'll get back to you on my next one. I'm working on another video so, and I'm going to find more stuff. I'll get back in a few days. I might melty tech tomorrow too. I'll have another arrowhead hunting video. I hope you enjoyed folks. That's crazy. I'm going to have to get that out of here. That thing's that deep. Find here for you melty techer guys. This is the place with the house foundation coming out. There's all kinds of old glass in here. Now, yeah, I'll see you that later. Um, but I got a big metal item and I don't know what it is. What the heck is this? What is that, folks? Is it a file? A real old one? I don't know. But I figure some of you metal detector guys would know. I thought it was a big knife when I saw it and almost fainted, but it ain't. It's got a squared off edge, but what is this? Put it down in the comments. If you found anything like this, I would say it's an old file. It's just real created, but it's very cool nonetheless. And no metal detector today. You know, I'm just sifting and got that in my screen. It was up under some rocks. That's kind of cool. Later. All right, I stuck it out here a while longer, and I got two artifacts in my screen here. Flip this log over, there was rock behind it, sifting it all out. A point and a stone tool. So make sure you subscribe. I'm doing good, folks. But I got time to look now, so no outside, like, distractions. Just look. look.